Hey guys, welcome back to GP Automotive and Diecast. Today I'm going to be showing you this 118 scale 2005 Chrysler 300C Hemi made by Motormax. This is from the American Graffiti series. And before I get started, I just want to say, please hit the subscribe button if you like the content that you will you know see in the future and that you have seen for well eight months now so uh yeah so hit the subscribe button if you like the content and thanks for commenting and liking the video and well let's get into the car so like i said it's a 118 scale motor max is from the american graffiti series which is a uh, series that i think you you could buy at walmart back in the day <clears throat> and uh they had some models to choose from from this lineup, actually. Um, Boss 302, Plymouth Fury, Impala, a lot of older cars. And uh, and then this thing, the 05 Chrysler C, um, was kind of just in that mix. And uh, Maisto, the diecast company, or Maisto, depending on how you want to pronounce it, um, made a 118 scale version of this car. But those tend to go for a little bit of money. And so do these, actually. These go for, actually, typically more sometimes than the Maisto models and uh, excuse the plain noise but uh, but yeah so I got this one from eBay for I think around $30 and I think that's a really good price considering this one's in very nice condition with the straps that are still on it so very nice condition overall pretty cool looking box definitely a different type of window design that you usually see from these diecast companies but Go ahead and take it out of the box. Kind of a weird, weird box. Like I said, it opens even over here. So that's kind of interesting. Curves around. So I'll, I think I might be able to get this out without setting y'all down, but I kind of doubt it. We'll see if we can get it anyway. I'll just set you on the top right here so you can kind of see the car. one of the easier models to get out of its boxes. Typically, sometimes it can be really hard to get some of these models out of their boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, well, thankfully this one's kind of easier. So this is kind of a neat looking base. Uh, it says 05 Chrysler uh, 300C Hemi right there. These came with the Hemi V8s. It says uh, some things in the back. It says Chrysler used Chrysler cars used the 300 design starting in 1955. The second 300 was released in 1956, and they badged and the badge on the car was 300B. 1957, the next 300 car was released, named as the 300C. In the year 2000, Chrysler started the build of the 300M again in their Brampton, um, Ontario plant, Canada plant. So, kind of gives you a little background which of the model, which I like. Um, a pretty cool thing that not a ton of manufacturers do um, and this was I think made in the early 2000s or around when this was made I think or around when this car was made see marketed by Walmart stores and corporate so also I think this was probably made in um, yeah right there so it says Daimler Chrysler Corporation 2005 that was back when uh, they were partnered with Daimler Chrysler so that was kind of a partnership that I think ended in around 2007 or 8 um, so yeah, kind of a little bit of history back then for that. So um, this was kind of unique in the way that it says American Graffiti as a sticker on the side. So that's kind of neat that um, it kind of differentiates. Just not the you know not just the box. It's like that the car actually says something on it. So um, well, so far this looks like a pretty nice looking model. I don't typically buy Motor Maxes, but I you know I kind of gotten a, a habit of buying some of them because I've had some pretty good luck with Motor Maxes recently. You know, paint quality is amazing on this one and. Doors line up pretty nicely, and the panel gaps are not that bad either. So, chrome, the wheels look a little cheap, but uh, this has the full opening doors, four opening doors, excuse me. And uh, we'll go ahead and take it off the base. I'll have to set y'all down for this one, so pardon that. And it should be just, yeah, Motor Maxes typically have about four screws on them. So, uh, Oh, I guess I'll show you this. This is my little toolkit that I use for these models and many other things, but screwdriver and you have a couple other tools in here. We'll go ahead and take that out. And a ton of bits to choose from. I think I'll choose, let's see, I think I'll choose this one right here. 
This looks like it should work. This is actually a pretty heavy model, which I was kind of surprised about. Uh, and, you know, like I said, Motormax diff doesn't usually have the best quality of die cast. And this definitely isn't a great, you know, a, a super great model anyways. But, you know, you don't, not, not a lot of companies made the um, 300 in different, uh, you know, d uh, the higher end companies didn't make a 300 of this generation, I don't believe. Apart from Maestro and Motormax, at least I haven't seen any others, so, um, you know, like I said, I got it for $30, which I think is a exceptional deal for one of these Motormax models. Typically, these run about, I don't know, at least $50, usually. I've seen some that are, you know, really highly priced, and, you know, they're not really worth spending the crazy amount that some people list them for, you know, so that's why I've just kind of waited it out for, you know, many months to find the perfect one. Um, this is taking kind of a while, sorry about this guys, but, uh, these screws are like really long, so, <laughs> sorry about the weight, um, but I kind of enjoy the full timing of, um, you know, me doing this, and you know, it takes obviously more time than, say, just editing, editing the video, but I kind of like the real, like, you know, what, what it'd be like if you were here with me, um, and I was talking about the car. So, here we are. Here, the, here is the 300. It's a pretty nice looking model. So we do have full steering, of course. And suspension. It rolls pretty nicely. Go ahead and open the hood, just because it doesn't have a strap on it. Hood doesn't line up great right up here, but that's okay. Like I said, not the best quality, but you know it. It's it's okay, and you know this is not really a toy. It's kind of an older model now, almost twenty years old. So you know, you just gotta be careful with it. So, you know, of course, I'll be doing a full review of this model, and uh, I've kind of slowed down on my reviews of, like, the die cast apart from the unboxing, because I just didn't really get great views on it, but for the people who are more in tune with my channel, I guess I'll start doing a couple of those reviews here and there, so. If you'd like to see a full review of this model, um, you know, me taking the straps off of it and showing you the interior and everything and, you know. All that good stuff. Uh, put in the comments down below uh, if you'd like to see that. Um, tell me so I, you know, know that at least a few people would, you know, like to watch it. Um, I always liked the 300, so that's why when I saw it on eBay, I thought about getting it, and well, I did. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, like I mentioned earlier, and uh, you know, a lot more content like this will hopefully continue for you know, hopefully many years to come. And um, yeah, so you're, you know, you watching this video is much appreciated. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there in the kind of crazy world. But <laughs> hey, take each day as it comes with it. So, well, thanks so much for watching. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching.